Hey everyone, we're back with Final Fantasy XII, the Zodiac Age, continue on with the 100% achievement walkthrough. Uh, last time we did, uh, we got Chaos, and that's pretty much all we can do for now, so I feel like it's a good idea to just continue with the game. So in this segment, we're going to do the entirety of Guna Vagan, go through the Great Crystal the first time. We got a boss fight straight away, I believe. Uh, I feel like I can steal a uh, Dark Crystal Boom Flash. Okay, um, I believe this guy you can steal, what's it called? The thing I need for the Tornasol. Uh, Dumb Alka steal. Because these, these, this guy is like the same sort of enemy. But since we're overpowered, this guy is not hard to kill at all. Sorry, dude. All right, let's move on. Killing him unlocks the teleport stone to go deeper into the dungeon. So our job here is to follow uh, Rassler, I believe, because uh, Ash wants to follow Rassler to her death, I guess. Be a mistake. I think five of them makes a. Um, X potion in the bazaar, but you can just simply buy buy them, so it's kind of a waste. These things, I gotta add them to the beast area, unfortunately. Always thinking about those achievements, getting the beast area. And these guys take have a lot of HP, or I'm doing really shit damage for some reason. Mm. Doing all right damage for this point in the game, I guess. But I feel like this game is actually kind of hard if you don't have all these like super armor and super power weapons at this point. Because if you just buy the normal weapons from like the shop or something like that, you just um, you'd probably just get rinsed and you'll be healing over and over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Uh, these big boys give us two license points apiece, not that I need license points anymore. Uh, speaking of license points, uh, my girls I'm not using should have uh, this equipped. Just because I can get free money. Not that money is an issue, but you know, more the merrier I guess. Uh, so we're just going around killing all the enemies. Trying to, um, hi for nice. Uh, we're trying to look for all those, um, like mechanical things I've been touching to, like, open the way. Another hi for very nice. I think I could buy hi for's later on in the game, but soon find out. But I think after we go to the Pharaohs, um, we can by Haifas in the Necro Hall of Nebodice. And there is a, a a spell specifically bought from there as well. So we need to go there once again later on of a Haifa. Very nice. It's a good place for Haifas apparently. Unless it's a one-time chest. I don't particularly remember, unfortunately. Um, realistically, I probably shouldn't even need to kill these guys, but you know, EXP and such. If I remember correctly, this place is actually kind of long, especially with killing everything, actually. And there's a reason why I use super speed, because if I was trying to fight this guy, uh, play this game, Nugget of Mithril, it's a monograph drop, I believe. If I was trying to play this game, like, normally, this place would take me, like, a whole hour to get through. And, to be honest, I don't really have the time for that anymore. As much as I would love to just, um, go normal speed and... Because I feel like this, uh, playthrough is kind of rushed by the max speed, but, you know, whatever.
But unfortunately, instead of enjoying my games, especially if I'm trying to record a playthrough, I've got to um, sort of speed through them. Oh, damn, stop. <clears throat> Credits two. There you go. Do the honors. Thank y'all. Yeah, so Vaughn's Mesa Moon uh, apparently doesn't do as much damage as I thought, but it does combo quite often. And if I equip him with the Genji Gloves. Not that I don't, I don't think he can actually equip the ginger gloves. Actually, hold on. Let me check. Oh, he can. All right, let's put that on him. <laughs> let's see how that works out. Yeah, so these barriers, I have to like find the switch to bring them down. Uh, these guys parry very, very often, unfortunately. I really do not need to kill all of y'all. You know what, let's just uh, speed this along. This is the device that that barrier needed. Let's just kill these guys with that mithril. I forget what mithril makes. I think I need it for something, but I forget what. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> Aga Shield. Uh, I think Aga Shield is a shield that doesn't block physical attacks, it blocks physical uh, magic. So if you find a magic enemy, uh, you can evade. Not block, uh, evade. You can evade magic a little bit easier. I'm pretty sure if I go up here, we've already been up here apparently, have we? The device sleeps because we already activated it, okay. Alright, going back down. According to the map, we've already been everywhere. Of course. <laughs> Die, you fucks. Yeah, I kind of want to just rush through this as well, because I want to get to the good stuff, like uh, find Ultima in the next video, which means I have to go through the set guy again. Okay, that's a monograph drop, I think. Or a very rare drop. Yeah, I want to find Ultima in the next video, which means navigate in the second part of the Great Crystal. Uh, I forget what that cutscene means, but it's basically saying you're going the right way. And in this chest, we have Sleep Gear. This is a very useful spell, very needed for certain enemies in the head mines we'll deal with later. But for now, we're just going to go through the Great Crystal. But I think we got another boss fight, believe it or not. And there will be a hunt here later on. Give me that elixir. Unfortunately, I think that's a one-time chest, that elixir. It'd be nice if it respawned and we can just farm elixirs, but that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Too easy game, too easy. I think this is also a one-time chest, an amber omelette. Not that I need one. Third is there. Alright, so going into the middle of nowhere. We're about to fight. Uh, this thing. Probably skip. Uh, wait. I can't use tax. I was about to try and uh, steal from it, but you can't. Uh, you can't tax. So you might as well just uh, die. You fuck. Ow. 
He has that gravity move that's really, really annoying. <laughs> Look at that gill. <laughs> Alright, we're done. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Not much to know about there, otherwise I'd be there all day trying to kill that enemy. Because he has a lot of HP, and my guys don't really do a lot of damage. Because, once again, Black Mages rock in this game. And most of my damage comes from Ash and Fran from just attacking. Uh, so this way leads to the second part of the Great Crystal that we can't actually access until we've done the first part of the Great Crystal, of course. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't need to come up here. Because this, de this device sleeps, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need a... Um, I need to have the Treaty Blade to actually access this gate stone. And these guys pop out of nowhere. It's like they followed us or something. But I need to kill them to add to the beast scenario, so it's all good. So, with only one way to go, we gotta go down down deeper into the Great Crystal. And unfortunately, the map, uh, even if you try and use the back button to see a like guided map, you only see this. This is the map of the Great Crystal. This is the only uh, map in the entire game that is not straightforward. And there is a good... Ooh, Cloud Staff. Okay. Free Cloud Staff. I think that powers up uh, Thunder Attacks. <clears throat> uh, as I was trying to say, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> thief's cap, okay, free thief's cap, not that I need one. Yeah, I, 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 will, I forgot exactly what I was trying to say. Alright, this dude. I don't think he's a trophy monster of some sort, but uh, he did. He was all by himself. I don't think that was a rare monster of any sort. Not that I know of, anyway. Alright, uh, where do we want to go? I don't know the the first part of the Great Crystal that well, I sort of just go in random directions. <laughs> okay, so I need a gate for this room. Uh, I got a Coral Whisker, that is an item to make a sword, I believe. Uh, this guy again. Oh, that's just kind of steal from him. <laughs> uh, let's go down then. The other side. Let me guess, this needs a gate? Okay, this is the gate, alright. The full goal is, we've dealt with these enemies before. Die, you guys have a lot of HP and take less damage every time you take damage. How lovely. How does that work, by the way? If you if you get hit, you take less damage when you uh, get hit. That's that doesn't make any sense. Maybe I'm just dumb. I don't know. Holy rod, yeah! Just in time for the pharaohs. Awesome. This is. Oh, I don't even have the license for that. Uh, we're gonna fix that, baby. Hold on. Holy Rod. We got the Holy Rod. This is probably the best rod in the entire game. Mainly because it is uh, ho holy based. So you'll do extra damage every time you hit something that's weak to holy, of course. So that's probably Pinelli's main weapon. Especially in the Pharaohs and uh, the Hem Mines. And potentially the second part of the Pharaohs, actually. And I just died just because of death. How lovely. Die, you fucks. Another coral whisker. Gold hairpin. Okay, that's free. Free gold hairpin, but I've got golden skull caps, dude. You don't need to give me free, uh. free shit. <laughs> I appreciate free shit. I can just sell it, but you know. Okay, only two ways to go. Uh, let's go down. Down, deeper. 
and shenanigans. This way leads to a item. Uh, guy gear, okay. There's a free guy gear, I guess. Not that I need it, especially since I got a rare drop of it, I guess. Let's go up now. Bomb bombs! Bloody bomb bombs. Alright, what we got? Set ninja gear, okay. Not that I need that either, but we got set ninja gear. Good for selling, I guess. Necrofeebs! These guys suck. Oh, because the goddamn laggy teleport. Look at Van Gogh with those ma the Master Moon, dude. He don't give a shit. Alright, now we gotta run all the way back, because now the gate's open. Or not? Maybe I maybe I missed something. Hold on. Maybe I missed a room. Cause this just led to a chest, right? Yeah, this just led to left to. Oh no 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 no! There's, there is a room down here. There you go. That worked out. I guess this closed. This was closed, but I opened it. The Ares gate. Level up. Okay, now, now that other gate is ready, but let's see what lies up here. There must be treasure. I seek treasure. Nope, I feel like that's the way, actually. So, we're just gonna go back. Uh, hold on. I bet this leads to the passies. Yeah, yeah, this, this leads to the passies thing. And you you saw that right? That was the invisible reaper. Uh, Waystone free. Yep, that's the right one. Because we are supposed to go down to the lowest floor. And this cutscene basically means you're going the right way. To to be honest, that's the only reason that cutscene's there. Because this place is kind of confusing on your first playthrough. But it's not too bad. And there's a save crystal. For a reason, I guess. Alright, waster number one. Because now we're about to have yet another boss. Another boss. And I'm gonna equip Vaughn with the Thieves Cast. God, I can uh, skip cutscenes. <laughs> Psychotaris gym. Uh, this is an Esper, thanks for this music. You can tell it's by the music. Unfortunately, I didn't get a, uh, what you call it, a High Arcana. Oh. Alright. <laughs> if you say so, game. Yes, Vaughn, go to town, bud. One, two, three! Ah, uh, three. Yep. Enrage, he's more powerful than ever. One, two, three! Ah, uh, freeze there, come on, man. One. Alright. <laughs> Alright, you dead, unfortunately. Uh, story espers are generally really easy. So that is our ninth Esper, believe it or not. That is our ninth Esper. 
and we need 10 to get to, get to Zodiac, right? So, we're actually really, really close to getting to Zodiac without going to the Pharaohs. And believe it or not, we're going to do that, uh, not next video, because next video we're going to get our 10th Esper. And then we're going to move on to um, Zodiac next time. But first, we've got a long cutscene that we can just skip, fortunately. Uh, touch the device. Alright, so Ash gets teleported to the middle of nowhere in the sky and talks to, like, uh, these mythical beings. Restore down. And they want us to kill Vinar because Vinar is a, a traitor or a bad ghost or something. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty bad with uh, story explanation, as you can tell. But we got the Treaty Blade! We got the Treaty Blade, so... This uh, this weapon combos very, very often. Not that you can see it, because it's all red. Hold on. Hold on. I uh, do you like... Ash and Berserk, but... Uh, where is it? Alright, there it is. Pretty sexy blade, isn't it not? Looks really good on her. And the tree blade you can have equipped with anyone, it doesn't have to be with Ash, but it is Ash's weapon, I believe. It was meant for Ash to destroy the Nephysite, that's what the tree blade does. Um, so we're gonna end things here, I think. It's kinda short. Uh, if we try and change this waystone now, we will go right back to the start. Oh, and by the way, in that cutscene, we realized that S Sid tricked us. He he said to come here, but he never left Arcades. <laughs> Trickster. What an asshole. Anyway, let's, uh, now we have to go back to Baffleheim and do some shit. Actually, let's just add, do, do those cutscenes, actually. Not that we're going to watch them or anything. Because next time we're just going to come back to the second part of the Great Crystal. Alright. I could buy a rise! Yes! And shock. And Gravaga. Alright. Awesome. Because now that I've, now that I've done uh, that first part of the Grey Crystal, there's new hunts we can do. I think now. Uh, let's just get more expotions, more wine. Because I love to get drunk. Remedy. Those are very needed. They're needed. Aspects are very, very annoying. Alright. Before I actually go and activate those cutscenes that we're not even going to watch, <laughs> uh, let's see if I can actually see any new hunts in, in the billboard. Because I'm pretty sure there should be some new hunts now. No! Okay. Maybe, maybe in a... Uh, what you call it? Uh... In the clan hall. Maybe in the clan hall there's new hunts, but none posted on the wall. That's very, very weird. Yep, 
Yeah, because now we have to we have to go back and s s talk to Lord Redis, because Lord Redis has some new leads to tell us to go to the Pharaohs now. But and she uh, oh, fishing dories if need be. I can sexy not. chick. Are as as sky to a fish. Leave what boats have foundered. I want soul. All right, we're done. Anyway, Redis now joins our guest. Uh, joins our party as a guest. And this is a good opportunity to do trial mode with four characters, because Redis is actually the best guest character in the entire game. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This guy is telling us to go to the Theros. And this Moogle is going to... Um... Cool. Basically, he's telling us we can go anywhere now with the airship. Which means, I believe there is new hunts, <laughs> like I said. Wow, look at all those new hunts. <laughs> Looks like I had to literally look, watch a cutscene, and now we get we got loads of new hunts. So Death Gaze, I thought this is a, um, I thought Death Gaze was a elite hunt, but apparently it's just a hunt on the wall. Okay. Diablos, we have to go back to Lucy Mines for that one. Uh, Piscal Damien. Uh, this one we have to go basically go back to the Great Crystal anyway, so I'll do that next time. Bomb our borrow. Damn our borrows. Cuttle pass. Uh, I actually need to do this hunt to fight Zodiac, actually. Because the requirements to get Zodiac is you have to do all the hunts in Jahara and have 10 Espers. So with that done, uh, let me go back to the Clan Hall and see if there's any new hunts there. Okay, back in the Clan Hall. We're going to get a lot of rewards for doing the main story. <laughs> uh, I say a lot of rewards, just a lot of gil, because we've done quite a few... Uh, boss fights. Oh, and we killed, we command eight espers, and that gives us a gem steel. Uh, gem steel is needed to make the second mass of moon. Any new marks? Uh, no, there isn't. Okay. Okay. Um, alright. Uh, let's check out Redis, actually. Um, uh, let's put that on top. Uh, he can he can be in Berserk too, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, I think he has some pretty good spells. Like he has a rise, he has holy. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, he has holy. He has bone crusher. Sight and seeing, thousand needle stamp. And uh, nothing too nothing too exciting, but holy before getting it is actually pretty cool. I think we get holy literally in the pharaohs in the next dungeon. But we're not gonna be there for a while unfortunately, so we're gonna make the use of this guy. Um Holy vulnerable, use holy. Uh, I'm actually not going to spam this because Holy is a very long animated move, so he's just going to attack uh, lowest HP and then keep us alive as usual. Okay, back in Mount Baramis, before I end this video, we're going to tackle the Fafnir hunt. The only reason I'm doing this is because I have to activate the other hunt anyway. So, I think it's this chick who wants me to kill the Fafnir. Yeah. This chick wants me to kill the Fafnir. Which is actually in the... 
ba I forget the I forget uh, I forget the place what it's called, but literally on Mount Baramis, Primal Reef. That's it, Primal Reef, which is literally behind us. And then we have to come all the way up here and talk to this geezer for the Pesca Demon Hunt. And uh, this one is going to be in the Great. Uh, not the Great Crystal, but just outside of it. And I have to go there anyways for next video, so yeah. I'm going to see if there is, there's a Dark Matter here. There is not. I meant Dark Energy. Alright, so Fafnir. Fafnir has a lot of HP. I think it's like over a million HP, so we're going to be in this fight for a while. Um, every time you hit him, we're going to, we're going to take record damage, because it's one of them enemies. And he, I think he hits like a truck as well, but there's a little trick to it. As long as you have a ruby ring, which I do, I believe. I have one. Having two would be nice, but I guess I have one. Uh, Penel, uh, we'll, we'll just get to him first. We'll just get to him. Let's just get Penel in the front, front line. Alright, so once you come from Mount Baramis into the Primal Reef this way, there's always a snowstorm, or, or there is for me every time I play this game. So what we, what we want to do for the snowstorm to continue is take a certain path. Because uh, the path they were only spawn when there's a snowstorm. So we're just going to continue. Go down here. Uh, dead bones are weak to holy. That's why Penelo did so much damage. If you're wondering, <laughs> good old holy rod. Fucking love it. All right, so we got blinded. How lovely. Now we want to go this way. I hope it's this way. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, snowstorm. Awesome. So now we just cut down here, and the big Fafnir should spawn. Unfortunately, though, Redis is here, um, so this isn't is this isn't gonna go as well as I hoped. Um, how am I gonna kill off Redis? Uh, huh. Ally Ash, Ally Fran. Arise, because uh, Red is actually going to ruin this fight for me a little bit, so we need to kill him off. So if we do that, Pinello, turn off Cure just in case. Turn off that. Oh, what? It's like he knows! He knows! <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Don't do this to me. Apparently, he parries a lot. One more hit. Die! Hey. Be gone. <laughs> Alright, um, so, our big boy. Oh, there he is. He's right there. So what we're going to do is, we're going to Gambit, just going to spell him, maybe I have to do it myself. Fuck. Fran, <laughs> I've got to turn off our gambits, shit. He's uh, weak to thunder apparently, so he's storm staff. Um, because now I'm so far away, he won't uh, attack me. 
And if he tries to attack me, he's going to be with magic. So we're just going to speed this up. And we're just going to be in the never end. We're just going to be in a magic war for a while. And because I'm doing so much damage, he, uh, I don't have to restore my MP. Because for some reason, he won't come closer. So, uh, France is going to sit there the ruby ring and just go to town on Fafnir. And you'll die eventually. He has like over a million hit points. But he's weak to thunder with the, fun with the storm staff on. And uh, you'll die eventually because we're doing so much damage. We're doing like 25k per hit. Die, Fafnir. I told you to die. Die. Awesome. <laughs> Bring a light. As an achievement to do that, by the way. Not to beat him in that way, but that's just the most easiest way to fight him. It's the, it's the, it's the, oh, I always do that because fighting him normally is so annoying, to be honest. To the point where it's just like, what's the point? <laughs> So yeah, fa uh, I just destroyed Fafnir with, with relative ease. Back at the hot chick, we killed that Fafnir, I gave you the ring of light, and unfortunately your man has died, and you're gonna go off crying and stuff, I don't know. Uh, blah 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 blah. Just give me the, the reward, please. Teleport stone, assassin's arrows, alright. Alright reward. Not that I use bows, but assassin arrows are very useful because uh, it has a chance of insta-killing enemies. Don't know where the fuck I was going. Uh, so, that's pretty much all I'm going to do for this video. Sorry, it was kind of like uh, me not really caring that much. I've been kind of ill recently. So, doing this kind of forced myself to do this. Probably shouldn't do this, but well. Alright, next time we're going to take on Ultima in the in the second part of the Grey Crystal, so we're going to be in for a kind of a rough ride, so I'll see you guys then.